Sogar. Probably the biggest upset of the weekend in the 200 breaststroke. Phenomenal racing tonight. How does it feel to walk away with that win? It feels so good. Um, that was last time in my college swimming career, so and there's been a lot of ups and downs, that's for sure. So it was just really cool to finish it off well and with a win. Do you, do you look at it as an upset? Um, before this meet, I wouldn't have, but during this meet, I yeah, definitely I mean, would have. Uh, my 100, I was not happy at all with my 100. I was coming into this uh, race, I wasn't completely sure about how I was going to do, but tonight I was I tried to regroup and just remember swimming. It's a 200 breaststroke, I've done a million of these, and it's fun. And I went out, had fun with it, and it turned out pretty well. You're your third 50 was really strong. It seemed like that's where you really pulled into the lead. Physically, how did the 200 feel? Is there any point where, where the pain started to kick in, or did you feel strong all the way through? Honestly, it hurt at the 75, so that, that was a little yeah. nerve-wracking. Um, but it was nothing I knew. I knew I could handle it. I've hurt like that in practice before. Uh, this is what I trained for, to be able to feel the pain and know that I'll be able to continue swimming through it. So... I was excited to embrace that, and then the excitement kind of took over for the last 50, and well. <laughs> the disadvantage to being in lane number one is that you are kind of could be separated from the race. Uh, what are the advantages of being in one of those outside lanes in a final like that? Um, well, I was right next to my team. They were standing right there on the sideline, so that was really cool. I could hear them the entire time. They're really loud. So <laughs> that was really nice. And also, uh, I don't know if the other girls necessarily saw me. Granted, I, I haven't asked, so maybe they did, but I think I was able to kind of sneak up on them, and uh, that was good. It worked out. You weren't very happy with your 100 breaststroke. Was it the time or how it felt? What, what did you not like about it? I let it get out of my control. On the second 50, I was spinning a lot. I took like 10 strokes to 25, which is not how I swim my fastest. So I wasn't happy that I let my emotions get the best of me and um, ruin my race strategy, especially since I'm a senior. I should know better at this point. But uh, I regrouped and worked it out for the 200. When it comes to turning around after a performance like that that you're disappointed in, do you rely on teammates, coaches, or is it something that you had to kind of step back and do yourself to turn around that ship? I think it's all three. Um, teammates, probably the most. I knew I had to, especially in a team competition like this, like there's no room to let your head like, get the best of you. You need to be there for your teammates, and you need to do what you can to like represent them as well as yourself. And then coaches, I, I mean, we love Carol and Vork and Ian. <laughs> So I just wanted to make them proud, and then for myself, I mean, it's my last one. So. As a veteran on the pool deck, how would you compare this NCAAs to the years past? This has been a crazy NCAAs. There's been so many uh, upsets and people who are kind of all over the map. Um, Do you have a reason for why you think that is? I don't really know. I mean, I know it's like right after the Olympics, so everyone's training is in kind of different places. Some people took breaks and stuff like that, so I know that probably plays a factor, but uh, it definitely gives room for new people to get in and make their mark, so, which I'm excited about. <laughs> Laura, in light of the conference shakeups, um, is the rivalry um, in your heart, you know, between Texas A&M, Texas is that dead, or did you feel that kind of in the ready room going after Bria Larson tonight? Oh, Bri is just so sweet, so it's hard to really feel like the stronger aspects of the rivalry for that. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, there's a certain amount. Like, you know, It's kind of with any team, though. We want to we beat everyone, ultimately. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just, it was more about getting as high a place as I could and scoring points for my team. Do you feel like this victory was a statement for the Lady Longhorns program? I would like to... I hope so. Um, we haven't we haven't won in a while. I haven't won an event, so I'm really proud to be able to kind of turn the tide a little bit. And I think it's going to be a lot more of us to come in the next couple of years. Congratulations. Thank what you. is life after swimming? What does that mean? What's in well, the near I'm, future? I'm going to be swimming through at least the summer, and then but I'm. Probably done with short course swimming for a while. Definitely done with like these college, obviously college meets. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to keep keep.
keep going for a little bit, hopefully. Great job this weekend. Thank you.